Hi, welcome to the channel. This video is created especially for Malaysians and Singaporeans. So I will mix in some local dialects such as La Li Du Le Lo. Today is Saturday, July 16 and we are on our way to Da Nok, Thailand. Da Nok is a small town bordering Malaysia in the southernmost region of Thailand. It is about 1000 kilometers from Bangkok. Since Thailand East travel restrictions on the 1st July, so we decided to pay a visit to our neighbour and try to keep our fellow Malaysians and Singaporeans up to date on the current conditions in Danok. For your information, foreign tourists and even Thais seldom visit this part of Thailand because there isn't much to do except food, massage and sporadic nightlife. Essentially, this is just a weekend getaway for most Malaysians in the north. Of course, sometimes we will see a lot of Singaporeans there. This level of traffic as what you observe now was quite impossible to see before the COVID-19 pandemic two years ago. Previously, passing through these checkpoints could take up to an hour or two. However, traffic now move faster than me going to the toilet. <laughs> Passengers must get off the car and proceed to the immigration hall, while the driver must drive to a kiosk on the opposite side to have their passport stamped. Something very important here, under new regulations, Vehicle owners must submit their insurance and other necessary documents at this counter before passing through the checkpoints. This counter is just located right behind the main immigration hall. Alright, we are now officially in Thailand. Let us switch to the Thai channel and enjoy some lively music now. Sorry for interrupting. I know you enjoyed the music so much, but please allow me to briefly introduce the hotel we stay. This is a 3-star hotel in Dano. Previously, a standard room easily cost more than 1,000 baht per night. But now the walk-in price is only 800 baht. And if you book through my website, you can get even cheaper. I got it at 600. It has a nice lobby and the breakfast area is right next to the reception. Level 3 has a spa and a small swimming pool, while level 2 has a karaoke. I will now show you around the room. This is a standard room with a size of 28 meters square, come with free Wi-Fi. Believe it or not, this size only costs 600 baht. After a short break, we are now going out to look for a restaurant for dinner. In the meantime, let me show you around Danok's current position. Let's go! What happened? <laughs> See what is going on here. 
These are all the small lanes that run alongside Dunlop's main road. Nearly all of the shops are still closed. Imagine even this dog can sleep like nobody's business in the middle of the road. years later. Luckily we found a mukata. It is at the back of Oliver Hotel. This restaurant is quite new and the atmosphere is both comfortable and spacious. They offer a wide variety of food including chicken, beef, pork, seafood, ice cream, fruits and many other more. This is a buffet style mukata and you can take as much as you want but please don't waste the food. It costs 365 per person. As we were leaving, we noticed a cultural performance with very few spectators about 50 meters down the road. I'm not sure what is the purpose of this show, it just appears out of nowhere. Anyway, who cares? อ๋อโยตาโอ้ตามาดิไอ้เอาบัวไปจอดได้เหยียดเหมมาตึ้งเลววันนี้ลงหัวหน้านี่นะมาเล่นเป็นลูกอินเกลเอ๊ะมี
Sadao, including Danau, is required to close the night before the election. Alcohol is not permitted after 6 p.m. until 6 p.m. the following day. You can't even get it in 7 Eleven or any other shop. What the f? Since we have nothing to do now, so how? Go back to hotel sleep more. Oh, ho. look at this Jaguar Club, which is just next to our hotel. It is also permanently closed. Lama, so the Kanli Nala. To be honest, even though I slept early yesterday, I had a terrible nightmare. Because last night was my first experience in Thailand without any beer. This place on my left is a decent club, but I'm not sure if it's called the 9 club or the G club. Can anyone tell me? However, in Chinese, loud and clear, this is Kui Fei Shen. Open. Today, by hook or crook, we must find some nice places to spend the evening. So we are now diligently driving around to check it out. Next, let's go to Skyloft. This is one of Danok's top live band bars. Hopefully they will open. On my right, this is a new KTV called 77 Club. I heard they will be open tonight. We will try to drop by tonight and take a look. I wish I could get some footage. Now it's only 3 pm and we still won't be able to drink until 6. Thankfully, we discover a food massage to pass our time. Yes, it's 6 15 now. We can drink. We came to Skylaw for dinner because there was no other restaurant nearby. While waiting for our food, let me show you around this lovely bar. It is beautifully decorated. The food they serve here is mostly Thai style and my favourites are the Tom Yum and the steamed sea bars. Guys, look at this fun fatty with curly hair. He is our good friend. He is also the co-owner and the guitarist here. Alright, the band is about to begin so let's listen to the music and enjoy the atmosphere here.
sorry for the poor and short footage at 9 club as well as 77 club because video is not permitted there. Anyway, we plan to come again in September or October and hopefully I will be able to ask the owners for permission to shoot better video for you guys. Well, that basically wraps up our video for this time. Please leave your message in the comment box down below if you have any questions about Fanoc. I will try my best to reply if I know the answer. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again.